Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about summary for Lightnet Talk at 3 June 2022. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this video is summary for Lightnet Talk that Rebis just do at 3 June 2022, 11pm GMT plus 9 on Korea. And as always on this Lightnet Talk, Mr. G will share some development for Black Desert Online that will implement near future. But this video streaming is full in Korean language. And gladly for this time, Rebis just share translated version for this summary on our official website on its region. And I will share any information that we got from this Lightnet Talk with Rebis from this summary. First about Drakania Awak that we already waiting so long at least on this Lightnet Talk streaming they just mentioned about this Drakania Awakening and share Drakania Awakening teaser video and this video teaser is very short and they confirm this Drakania Awakening will have special weapon to spear with different shape and form and if you watch my previous video about Drakania Awakening info that we got first time at PAX is even we only got this Drakania Awakening teaser that I mentioned previously one of the spear have some shape like skill effect but they just confirm this is form of her spear and also if you watch video teaser when she flap her dragon wing animation we can clearly see one of her another hand hold this spear with bigger form than another one and about her wing they just mentioned this wing is skill animation for drakania awakening when she fully reveal her draconic power and they also mentioned this drakania awakening will have special dragon form so i think this drakania awakening will have some shift shifting animation for her skill to become dragon form but they still mention this drakania awakening still under development until now and they will reveal more later and the most important question when will drakania awakening release and at least mr g just mentioned this drakania awakening will available next month and mr g target her release at third week july 2022 and i think this is very long for this drakania awakening release since her first release because if this drakania awakening release at third week july 2022 it's mean her awakening will release after season drakania and that schedule at 6 july 2022 on pc version or maybe they will extend duration for this season drakania in future like they do for previous season when corsair release and other than info about drakania awakening on this light net talk with pre -Abyss, they also mention some future update that they will implement in future like notification on screen they mention there are so many notification messages on our screen user interface and this is make our immersion experience in game become broken and they will adjust in game notification in future and next about buff duration improvement they mentioned they will update all food and scroll buff to become have 30 until 60 minute duration and they also will prepare some feature to use buff automatically like fairy skill miraculous chair to use potion automatically but this time for food elixir and scroll buff okay other content is old moon grand picks matchmaking and as we we already know this old moon grand Pix content beat that because very hard to collect 10 player to waiting and move on old moon grand Pix lobby and on this light net talk they mention they will revamp this old moon grand Pix matchmaking following matchmaking for arena of solare so your character didn't need to appear and waiting on specific location do nothing on lobby when waiting player to participate on this old moon grand Pix. you just need to click some menu on user interface and waiting for this matchmaking well you still can do any activity on black desert world and if you want to see how mechanic about this matchmaking on arena of solare you can check my previous video about arena of solare test for more detail info and if you want to know more detail info about old moon grand Prix content actually this is horse racing content you can check on my special guide about this old moon grand Prix for more detail and next content they mention about central market purchase especially for any item that you only can purchase it one piece it's time previous just mentioned they will increase maximum limit amount to purchase any item on central market so you can purchase more item from central market at once in future and next about imperial crafting delivery for cooking and alchemy box in future they plan to reduce this imperial crafting box weight to become 10 lt only so in future you can craft this imperial crafting delivery box more faster than before without need to continue store your box from your character inventory to warehouse because of this huge weight for this box 
books. Because even you already do this content to mass process imperial cooking and alchemy books, we still have limited with our character weight limit. So in future, if you do mass processing for imperial cooking and alchemy books, you can do this process without need to interrupt with your character maximum limit to get more books. And also you can hand over imperial cooking and alchemy books more faster to NPC without need to go back to storage or crafting it again and again. And for more detail to get ability to mass processing imperial cooking and alchemy box, you can check my previous video guide for more detail info. And next they mention about wizard appearance that they will revamp in future. They mention they just create all new animation for this wizard character and they will adjust existing outfit to become perfect look with this new model. But can you differentiate what difference for this wizard appearance from before and after from this photo? Let me know on this comment section if you find any significant difference for this wizard appearance. And next about ocean content, after they release Karak outfit, they just mention to lower barrier of entry to access great ocean content, especially to craft early ship like Caravel and Galeas. So in future, if you want to craft Caravel and Galeas, you can get this ship more faster than before. And they mention they will faster this Caravel and Galeas build by increased way to get this Verdan Blackstone to become more easy to obtain. But to craft Karak ship, they mention method to craft this Karak still same, but they will reduce duration to craft Sunset Blackstone to become only 20 minutes per crafting instead 3 until 6 hours. So in future you can craft Karak and its gear more faster than before. And if you want to know anything about Great Ocean content, you can check my Great Ocean playlist that I already put on this video description for more detail info. Anything about this Great Ocean content. Actually this is major content that I share to develop Chris Poly channel in the past. You can check all my past video in this playlist for more detail for its topic about Great Ocean content especially to craft any kind of ship and bartering. And still about ocean content, they also will increase income from hunting saltwater crocodile. And if you didn't know, saltwater crocodile is located on Margoria Sea at this location on map. And right now, this monster zone for saltwater crocodile is party monster zone for two player. And they will change this monster zone to become available to kill in solo. And also increase its income from this monster zone. And next, they also mention about item restore method. So if you accidentally delete any item, you can restore any item that you delete previously without need to contact support to GM. Actually, previously they already add this recover function. If you click this trash bin and click this recover button, we already have this item recovery function, but we only can recover some previous item like treasure item and gear only and limited only to item each month. And they will increase this item recover function in future. So you can recover any deleted item that you accidentally delete delete those item. And next about Not War and Conquest War, they just mentioned will revamp how to build your base on Not War and Seeds War to become more easy by simulating displacement like shown on this video. So by using this method, you can place more easy any building that you use on Not War and Seeds War. And still about Guild content, especially for Guild War. In future, they will revamp Guild War mechanic, especially for declaring war. First, they will make Guild category, depend on Guild gameplay, either War Guild, Adventure guild, life skill guild, sailing guild, and another category that they will categorize in future. And by using this new guild category, if you choose as war guild category, you will be able to declare any other guild as normal. But if you choose another design for your guild gameplay, you only can declare another guild if both of these guild agree to declare war each other. So if you choose category other than war guild, you cannot declare war in one side guild. Both of these guild need to agree to declare war each other. So by this update, any guild cannot do toxic behavior like perma declare for another guild if target guild not categorized as war guild. But if both of guild is categorized as war guild, you still can declare in one side as we do right now. Okay, that's all any information that we got from this light net talk with per abyss at 3 June 2022. And let me know on this comment section which content the most interesting for you other than drakanya awakening content on this video description. And and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubiadut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Homi, Ayrton, Killsteel, Remy, Jan Andres, Token R42, Kaimana, Demonite, Cozy, Selusos, as gold member. And also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster.
Twitter. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video. Depend on your support level. And be noticed for some level there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karekarsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video. I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all summary for this light night talk. Hope all this information can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.